you've caught me studying my daily gentleman's lessons. I found something interesting here. A fake cocktail created by a fake world traveler attributed to a long dead banker and booze hound. The Alamogoozler, a giant boozy punch that we need to bring into the modern era. The first reporting of this cocktail comes from the 1939 Gentleman's Companion, where it's attributed to J.P. Morgan. And while he had a penchant for prolific piccadillies and high-proof alums, it's more likely that this was made up on the spot by someone barely literate mixology. It's large, sweet, and the inclusion of chartreuse and bitters makes it quite herbaceous. Let's look at the original recipe. That's too much to deal with. And let's simplify this for a single cocktail. Three quarter ounce Geneva, if you're Dutch. Uh, the rest of us can say Jennifer. And the same with water. Half ounce each Jamaican rum, simple syrup, and chartreuse, and a teaspoon of orange liqueur and bitters. Shake with ice just to chill since this already has a lot of water included, and strain. Add foamer, either one teaspoon egg white or whichever foamer you prefer, and shake again. I've used Smith & Cross here because that's the only rum I can think of that may have similar qualities to what was available 80 years ago. So not only is it an amazing looking cocktail, the flavor isn't terrible. There's just a lot going on. There's so much from the bitters and the, and the chartreuse, I think it overpowers some of the other flavors that are trying to fight to the surface. So let's bring this into maybe not the modern era, but let's go a few decades ahead to the space age and turn this into a punch. Firstly, let's get rid of the Jennifer and throw in a decent gin. I think the Jennifer has a musky olive rind note that I really don't want. Second, I want to consolidate the water, simple syrup, and orange liqueur. So I'm going to make orange pico tea syrup. I'm using the pico not because it's orange flavored, because it's not, but because I believe it will balance out the lack of jennifer. In the tea, throw in some tang powder. This will give us an orangey syrup with plenty of tannins. What the hell am I doing? Then just go with the remaining ingredients. I'm also switching to Bogart spinners because this will mellow out some of the harsh edges. I'm almost afraid to try this. Okay, I get it. It's interesting. Uh, tea flavor is actually pretty strong. I could probably cut that back a little bit. Uh, the tang is not adding as much sugar as I would like, so it could just be a touch sweeter. Um, you know, if I was served this at a bar, I would only be slightly disappointed. Although if I was served this at an Applebee's, I'd probably be impressed. Do you guys have any tang recipes? I have a few others that won't disappoint. Hopefully I'll get to those soon. Like and subscribe so you don't miss out. I've decided I'm going to call this the Roscoe syrup, as in Roscoe Pico Tang. No? No good?